Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture we will understand different indeterminate forms and the first one is 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity. So basically let's take an example or we will take our example first example that is x square minus 1 upon x minus 1. Okay, so this when limit x tends to 1. So this is 0 by 0 form. Okay. Similarly, you can take an example for infinity by infinity form. So, if we have this kind of function and we have to find out the limit, we will apply L Hoppiel's rule. So, basically it is written as L Hospital's rule. L, L Hospital's rule. Okay. But I guess it is pronounced as L Hoppiel's. I don't know. You, 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 you know the context what I want to talk. So, so let's talk the context. So, L Hoppiel's rule, what do we do? Uh, in L Hoppiel's rule, we, uh, what, in function, let's say if, if it is fx upon gx, okay, and it is 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity, we differentiate both numerator and denominator, okay, and we try to take uh, whether it is now uh, out of indeterminate form. So, let's take this example, we will differentiate this function. So, after differentiating, it will come out to be 2x upon 1. Okay. So, now it is not 0 by 0, right? So, now we will, once it is out of the indeterminate form, we will put the value. So, if we put the value of x equal to 1, it will come out to be 2, right? So, now this is the limit. Very easy method. I hope you all know this. So, what do we do? If it is 0 by 0 form, we will differentiate both numerator and denominator and we will keep on differentiating until we get a form which is not indeterminate, right? Now, next we have a form which is 0 into infinity, okay? So, let's say something we have fx equal to 0 and gx equal to infinity. Now, what do we do in this case? That is, we have given to find out the limit of fx into gx, right? So, basically this is something which is not determined using L. Hoppiel's rule, but we can transform it in the form where we can use this rule to identify the limit. So, what do we do is, we can write this fx and into gx we can write 1 upon gx, right? We can write. Now if you see, this is 0 and this entire term is 0. So now you have transformed this form into 0 by 0 form and you can apply L. Hoppiel's rule. Okay? So basically what do we do in 0 into in infinity form? We just uh, take this infinity into, uh, into denominator and it becomes 0. Something like this. Okay? Right. Now, we have one more form which is equal to 0 to the power 0 or infinity to the power infinity. Something like this. Infinity to the power 0. 0 to the power 0 or infinity to the power 0. Okay? So, if we have a function Okay, for example, let's say uh, fx is equal to 0 again and gx and gx is equal to uh, G, gx is equal to again uh, 0. Yes, so here if we have fx to the power gx, okay, then in this case, what do we do? We take uh, another variable let's say y and then we take log of it. So, it will become log of y equal to gx into log of fx. Okay, right? So, something like this we can do. Limit x tends to a and then uh, we can proceed. So, whenever this is in power of, in terms of this power, okay, we will take log both side and we will simplify the expression. So, this is how we will proceed. Uh, now, we will go dive into solving problems. 
so let's get started now in the next lecture thanks for watching